This is the road Mondudor minibus drivers say might lead to strike when school reopens. The drivers who ply the 5A bus route say this Boapatat road is not fit for vehicular traffic. They say unless it is repaired, they will no longer continue to ply it as part of their route. Already Simon Casimir and Richard Raphael have stopped making that stop. I myself have stopped going there for about a few weeks because it's mashing up the van. As I fix the van, I just make one load and go up there and see how it's going, but it's still cracking up, it's doing the same thing. And the school open, you'll have to go there more often. So if we stop going there, then our van will mash up. It will be better. Wayne Joseph and Casimir say the road has caused numerous damages to their vehicle. The drivers say it is an expense they can no longer justify. Suspension-wise, shock-wise, tire-wise, all the time you're in a gutter, people have to be helping you to come out from a gutter and all these kind of things. The road not good at all. Up to yesterday I had to change the upper arm and the lower arm. The two front shocks of the Toyota that is not going at all. That mashup I had to buy two front, front shocks and put on the van. Right, so every day they say they fix up the road, they full of holes and everything. We're not going to carry the people up there again at all. The five A drivers implored our cameras to take a look at the condition of the road. They say they are tired of empty promises to repair it. The condition of the road is said to have deteriorated in the past six months due to rainfall and work by Wasco employees. Our road on the Boapatat Road there is in a terrible condition, and every time they're saying they will fix up the road, they'll fix up the road. But the only thing I would like for the media itself to go up there to take a, a, the view of the road to see the terrible condition the road is in. Because I really cannot take it anymore because my parts under my van is mashing up. Prime Minister Stevenson King is the MP for the area. The Ministry of Communications, who of late has been conducting a series of side visits in various constituencies, is responsible for repairing damaged roads. Carmi Joseph, HTS News, Channel 4.